Welcome to DSC, I'm Dom. Today we are armed with one word, tenet. This word will take us into a journey of self-portraiture where we all are the protagonist, existing forward in time and backward in time to create a loop. What we're gonna need to create this drawing, if you wanna follow along, is any piece of paper, any drawing surface, if you wanna work digital or physical, you're gonna need some drawing materials. I used a paint marker, some Prismacolor Premier pencils, and you need a reflective surface. Anything so you can see yourself or your phone works fine. And the last thing you'll need is a die or an app that allows you to roll a dice. Anything that'll allow you to get an even or an odd number. All right, let's get into it. Tenet. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this die and this will determine the kind of drawing you do. You gotta roll it. All right, if the number you rolled is even, you're gonna start on the left side of your drawing. We're drawing ourselves and we're gonna be drawing top down. If you rolled odd, you're drawing yourself upside down with your non-dominant hand. So it's gonna be completely opposite. Tenet. So now we're reversing. We're gonna to reverse to the other hand. Whatever side you started on, you're gonna do the opposite. Non-dominant hand upside down, or if you started this way, you do dominant hand right side up. This is gonna be a mess, but that's fine. That's what we're here for, to experiment. We're only armed with one word, tenet. What does it mean? Can you explain it to me?
Line confidence. You need confidence in your line. How do you build line confidence? The short answer is by doing hundreds of these, thousands of these, maybe even millions. You'll get to a point where you know, you know where you're going, the same way you know how to speak or read. Once you know how to read, you're not doing the hesitant thing where you're saying like, you're trying to link the words together and then saying the word, if you've learned a new language, if there's like that hesitation where you feel like a toddler when you're learning a new language. Once you get to a point where you've, you've done this so much, you've done the face and the repetitions over and over again, I think your style will come out of you knowing where it is you're going and being able to say it with confidence, being able to own wherever it is you're going. And for me, how that manifests is it's usually like dark, very dark, uh, aggressive marks where I'm not, it's almost like you're attacking it. It might seem like I'm attacking it, but I'm really just saying that I want the mark to look a lot more bold. Now you might be different though. You might be, I, I, I know incredible, incredible artists who are meticulous. I think maybe that has more to do with a person's personality. I think I can be a very, very aggressive and intense in my approach to life and myself and how I move through, rea through reality anyway. So I think maybe my art is a representation of that. Like you see these, these squiggles um, and all that. You might be the kind of person who wants to sit and, and plan everything out. And I'm, I'm definitely not of that school. It's fine if you're that way, but personally, I, I think line confidence comes from making a decision and aggressively going for it. I think line confidence for a more meticulous person may mean more like passing over it a few times. Sometimes if you're an artist like Kim Jong-gi, incredible line confidence while also being meticulous. Kim Jong-gi is, is a super exception to being, being able to do both and being able to draw with a line that is super confident knowing exactly where it's going and having it look meticulous at the same time, I have no clue how he does it. If any of you know, I, I, let me know what, the, what that answer is because I'd love to have some whatever he has. I was thinking about Rembrandt while I was making this. He is an artist I think about whenever I'm doing any sort of self-portrait in this style where I'm, where I'm standing or sitting and looking at, looking at something and the, the portrait is, if the self-portrait is of me painting or drawing, I end up thinking about Rembrandt. Not necessarily in terms of uh, how he used color and all that. I, although I love the contrast, love how Rembrandt painted, it's the way in which he would paint himself. He always seemed to approach with dignity, with trying to immortalize himself somehow. I think you could see, a, you could get a glimpse of how he saw himself in his paintings. I mean, you, occasionally you get the funny one like self-portrait with a velvet beret where I don't know, I don't know what kind of face he's doing there. He's like, Ugh. I don't know, I don't know what that is. If he was feeling confident that day, this is not to say that you can tell exactly how an artist feels about themselves from their work, because there are times when I will, I'm going to isolate it right here. Imagine this is just a, just a, a, a whole piece of paper. There are times where I will draw myself as just a black shape very Basquiat style, like this. And I will just like do a bunch of, just, it, it's, it's, not a, it's not a proper skin tone, but I'll just add a bunch and it'll look like a, it'll look like a, like a black spiky shadow. But to me, that's confidence. To me, that is drawing myself with dignity. And it's not, this isn't like a de evil demonic shadow being. This is me drawing with confidence. So back to the idea of line confidence 
and merging it with Rembrandt, it's when you're doing a self-portrait, it is how you, you see yourself. That is the most important thing. Can you look at that image you've drawn of yourself and, and love it and look at it and say, hey, this is, this is how I've chosen to draw myself. Whether or not it looks exactly like you wanted it to, this is where I am right now and it's totally okay. So to recap, what we did was created a tenant portrait. Armed with only one word, we created a portrait that is split down the middle. A self-portrait expressing us in real time and us in opposite time with our non-dominant hand. We drew with our dominant hand and we drew with our non-dominant hand to create something that's very different. I would love to see what you drew if you decided to draw along with me in this exercise. Send your drawings in to ask at domrabber.com. We love seeing your drawings or post a link below to the image that you drew and it might show up in the next video. A few quick announcements. The best way for you to support me and the DSC production crew and Blue Cerberus and everything that we're, we've got going on right now is to go to domrabber.com shop. Check out the prints that we have available. Got some cool stuff that people have been putting up on their walls and sending me cool images of them. And you could have some of my art existing on your walls as well. You could also have some of my apparel. Blue Cerberus shirts we've got. We've got these pink demon t-shirts that are flying off the shelves. And you can be the owner of one and wear it. And you'll be the envy of all your friends. They'll be like, how'd you get that thing? What, what, what is that shirt you got? It's like, it's from DSC, dog. That's where it's from. And that's going to be you wearing one of these cool shirts. Also, another great way to support. Patreon.com slash Dom Rabrun is where you can go to see this video a day earlier. Patrons get to see these videos earlier. They also get some extra benefits that we throw out to them. Special gifts, digital gifts. Every month we'll send you cool extra things, extra goodies for you to enjoy as a patron. And we have a lot more goodies coming up, but it's going to require you to show up on patreon.com slash Dom Rabrun and throw a few coins in there every month, which helps us keep our production value up. These videos have been getting way, way better because we have a fantastic videographer and editor working with us, Ryan Tomshek, and we want more. We want a bigger studio. We want people floating around. We want digital creatures. We want Spark AR uh, things fly, flying in and skulls and skeletons that I can fight while I'm drawing and all that stuff. You can help us do that by supporting us. Stay creative wherever you are. Keep at it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.